in this video i'm going to share with you how i change my easter cylinder seal you can seal the cylinder this is the hydraulic cylinder it's leaking seriously and as, as you can see on the screen that is the the chain roller we are about to lose it we have to lose it first so that we can work on it now the, the cylinder is outside you can see it has been losing outside now what we want to do is we want to piece the cylinder so that we can change the seal remember the pipe is not bad what makes it to leak is the seal now these are the seal these are the cylinder seal in this video i'm going to tell you about four types of cylinder seal and what is their job the first one i'm going to tell you about is piston seal this thin piston the piston seal ensure that fluid or hydraulics does not pass around the piston due to the system pressure is pushing the piston down the cylinder that is the work of piston seal it makes sure that the fluid or the hydraulics does not pass around the piston which is caused by system pressure so because of that it's pushing the piston down yeah, the cylinder that is the wall of piston seal then we have roll seal roll seal this is the important the most important among the seal the work of it is to make sure that as the rock is as the rock is rotating back and front they avert the leakage of liquid from inside of the cylinder to the outside that's why that the the cylinder or the piston is moving up and down it makes sure that there's no leaking from outside to inside that is the raw seal that is the work of the raw seal then we have wiper seal wiper seal wiper seal some also call it a scraper seal or scraper seal what is work of scraper seal this seal generates tight feet yet they allow a reciprocating rod to travel via the inner seal ball they see allow the piston to travel up and down that's why that they are tight fitted and they make sure that they scrape all the oil on the cylinder so that it do not leak outside then we have what you call wear ring wear ring what is wear ring wear ring are you retain the piston centrally they make sure that the piston is not dangling it remains central that is wearing so these are the four types of rings the four types of string you can see on the screen we have couple with finish we have fixed those rings i i show you the thread that time that's couple with finish and we're about to fix it now to make sure that the machine go back to feed and work we have we have fixed the roller back you can see the roller now we have fixed it back now i've explained the four type of seal that we have we have piston seal, roll seal, wiper seal, and wear ring seal. Now the eye star piston cylinder is being fixed back. You can see the piston is very clean. Make sure that no no mark because if there's any mark on the piston, it will definitely affect the cylinder. It will definitely affect the, the seal to be caught to, to injure the seal. So make sure that your cylinder is very clean and fix everything that you lose. If possible, you can be you can snap it. So make sure that the, those O6 were fixed back to where they were being losing. So these are my team as we are working on it. You can see that they are fixing it. Some hydraulic O6 too will be were loosed so they have to be fixed together to make sure that the machine go back to work don't forget to subscribe to mm. my channel and uh, mm. as we are fixing the hydraulic hoses mm. you have to make sure that they are properly fixed because if they're not properly Shanko. fixed this will cause a lot of leakages mm. i know leakages in the hydraulic one it will litter your ground and your client might not really like it and if the machine is for you these are the seal that we replace you can see we, we have the o-rings there and we have different type of seal these are the seal that we place now we have fixed the frame the machine is 
almost getting ready now to go to feed this is the frame or this you can call it guide it has been fixed and anytime from now the machine will be passed fixed it has been tested there is no leakage so in my another video i'm going to tell you how you're going to operate the fork leaf make sure you always stay on my channel thank you for watching me see you in my next video thank you